Every financial lifting you have given unto us, we say thank you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. Thank you, Jesus, for every increase, for every supply, for every provision, for every financial favor, for every financial open door, for every financial breakthrough, for every financial opportunity, for granting us financial success. We give you all the praise. You have not ceased to supply. You have not ceased to provide. Blessed be your holy name. Thank you, Asian of Days. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Today, money will follow you. Money will enter your bank account. People carrying your money, they will knock on your door. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Wherever your money is tied down, I decree a release for you now. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. If you are sure, you say better amen. amen. Take your seat and God bless you. This message is just tagged. Call it forth. Call it forth. When somebody is suffering from um, fever, they, they say he has what? Malaria. Some people are suffering from monaria. <laughs> Today you will be healed of monaria. Yeah. If you are saying the message, you better amen. Yeah. Money is a spirit. What we are about to learn now is to know how to call it anytime you want it. Let's take a look from scripture Numbers 11. You must get it today. Oh. I say you must get it today. Numbers 11 verse 31. And there went forth a wind from the Lord and brought quails from the sea and let it fall by the camp as it were a day's journey on this side and as it were a day's journey on the other side round about the camp and as it were two cubits high upon the face of the earth. Is that in your Bible? And the people stood up all that day and all that night. Ghana must go. <laughs> and all the next day, and they gathered the quails. He that gathered least gathered ten homers. And they spread them all abroad for themselves round about the camp. Are you seeing something? And the wind went forth and brought in quails. The wind is stared. Now, quail was what they wanted. So, what the wind did was to bring in quails. When we talk about the wind, we are talking about the Holy Spirit. Are you know what I'm saying now? Huh? We are talking about what? The Holy Spirit. Now let's take a look at another scripture. Just follow me gradually. You understand it well. This will be the last time you will be mourning over money. Yeah. Today will be the last day you will be depressed because of money. Yeah. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Yeah. Hebrew chapter 1. Who been 
the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his word. Another translation says he controlleth all things by the word of his power. For by him all things were made visible and invisible. He made all things so he can control all things. Now, I'd like you to hear also in Romans chapter 4 down to verse 17, down or thereabout, he called those things that be not as though they are. I want you to hear this. The money you are looking for is existing somewhere. It's existing. It's existing. Jesus needed some money. The bills needed to be paid. He said, Peter, go to the river. You will catch a fish. In his mouth is a golden coin. TBC. <laughs> In his mouth is Bitcoin. I hear one say now. You will catch a fish in his mouth is a golden cow. Catch, pay my debts, pay your debts. No stress. And as he went, the fish was already with his head. Don't they wait for you since? <laughs> and as he threw the net, permit me to say that the fish knew who Peter was. Are you going to say now? He knew who Peter was and he was waiting for Peter. And as he caught it, he opened the mouth, he brought out it. You will tell me it's a coincidence. It's a lie. He called it. Say with me, he called it. Your mouth is not only for eating. It's for calling. Calling the things you want. I give you a mouth and a wisdom which your adversary will not be able to resist, nor what? Can say. I say to one, go, and they do what? Go. And to another, come, and they come. I remembered learning through some of these scriptures. I experimented something after listening to Papa's message on call it forth. But it became more compounded when I learned um, from Kenneth Hagin how God taught me prosperity. Now I remember that our elder, Elder Odina, he had a bee farm, he had a crocodile farm, he had um, so many things. So that particular day, he, he was angry that uh, the place he went to buy the bees, they were telling him that one was 200 naira. That's way back 1998. One bee, 200 naira. So I said, sir, but you don't need to buy them. He said, okay, okay, how will I do it now? I said, we will do it now. He said, what do you want to do? You think it's anointing oil you will use? <laughs> I said, sir, it's not anointing oil. I will call it. So he said, okay, let's go. But before we go, there are three already there. If you express sign of fear, they will sting you now. So, comport yourself and see yourself superior to them. That they will just come and perch on you and go back to the, the beehive. So immediately we entered. I said, Father, in the name of Jesus, bees, I call you forth. I did that three times and we left. He said, is that all? I said, yes, sir. He started laughing. He said, now, sir, come and eat your food and go. <laughs> if that's how to call the bee, I will have done that since. I said, just watch. Let's see whether it will come or whether it will not come. Now, the following day, he called me and said, it's like you came and drive all the bees away, the three, 
the three that I managed to have, you have driven them away. Actually, they left. But they are coming back. They are coming back was not what he could contain. They came back like a legion. Massive. So he had to be building emergency hives for them. What he had was just three. He was now building them round and they filled the whole place. So he now came and was asking me, how does this thing work? How did this thing work? So I will have just stayed like that and called this to just work like that. <laughs> As I want you to understand first, you are not ordinary. You are a spirit. The wind blow it where it's listed. You don't know where it's going to another where it's coming from. The only thing you see is the what? Effect. Likewise, as we begin now, hear me? What we are about to do now is going to guarantee you 24 hour miracle. Some people, they will be enjoying the flow till Sunday. <laughs> you better say a good amen now. I said to one, go, and they go. And to another, come, and they come. Now, bringing it back to Kenneth Hagin's experience, he was zealous for his assignment, doing it doggedly. One day, he now said, Lord, what's really happening now that I'm not blessed to the tomb that I am committed? God said, it's your fault. He was sure, say, my fault? What did I do? He said, you have refused to use what you know was now wondering what is the thing that I know that I have refused to use. And the Holy Ghost began to pick him. Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 3. Ephesians 1 and verse 3. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who had blessed us with all spiritual blessings in the heavenly places in Christ. Now, whatever we are looking for already exists. The money you are looking for already exists. It's existing somewhere. Someone is connected to it. Are you hear what I'm saying now? So, he said, Lord, is that all? God told him that the money you are looking for is already existing, but you have not called them forth. He said, when you call them, you send angels to go and deliver them. My God shall supply all. What is the meaning of all? My God shall supply all your needs. So God supplies. My God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. And the Holy Ghost told him to prove to you that he's already existing. Name what you want this week. I have a copy of that book. I'll give you people one one. I don't know if it will be able to go around for the pastors. Name what you want. Do you know what he did? I think he named hundred dollars. Hundred dollar that time na egg Did you hear what I said? Have you what? So after the um, meeting he went for in that particular place, he got more than hundred dollars. He now said, Lord, I should have asked for more. He increased it to 120. He got more than 120. He increased it to 200. He got more than 200. And he, he kept on proving it because what you have not proved, you can't say. So after reading that something, something happened to me. 
my first shares that I bought, I was looking for just 60,000 naira. So, I was trying to be economical with my colleague, with what I wanted to call, just like the error he did. That particular day, I said, Lord, before Sunday, I will get the 60,000. I was shocked. I didn't, I didn't know that this thing was a real. As I read it, guess what happened? The first person that came was Honorable Bayoko, who is a, is a top man now in data. He brought a brown envelope, 40,000. The next one came, 20,000. The next one came, 15,000. The next one came, 20,000. The next one came, 20,000. I said, hey, I don't make mistake. <laughs> I lie not. I say the truth on this altar. So I said, okay. So now so this thing be, I go change gear. The following week, I change gear. You hear me? Since that time. Let just one need arise. I don't announce to anybody. And just the fish with my money. Go and bring it. I have proved it. It has worked. I can say it anywhere. It has worked. He called a those things. Now hear me. Every blessing that God has ordained for you, there may be barriers hindering it. And the reason why angels will go, they will clear the barriers. Many are suffering what we call diversion. Yes. They are suffering diversion. Diversion can come in different forms. It can make you misbehave before your helper. One force can push you away when your helper is around. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? But when you understand this thing, that what you are looking for is not only available, but God can also give it. Scripture says God is able to make all grace abound so that in all things and at all times you will do what? Abound. God is able to make all grace abound. So that in all things and at all times you will abound. Not in lack. So the mystery is with the calling. Whatever you want to see, you call it forth. It's existing. But until the reality downs on your spirit... You may be feeling that God does not want to give it to you. If your earthly father being evil knows how to give good gifts, he say, how much more will your heavenly father give to them that acts of him? So God is able to give it to you. I say God is able to give it to you. I say God is able to give it to you. Now, in all sincerity, the kind of money you need, does God have it? Yes. If he gives it to you, will his account go red? No. I won't forget one illustration um, Pastor Chuka did one day. He said, if all of us here now carries our tanker, 33 liters, and put our pipe in barbage and begin to draw, we will finish barbage. No answer, answer. No. So there is nothing you need now that will scare God. And look at it again. He said, Hey, Tato, have you not asked me anything? He said, Ask now, and it shall be done of my father. He Tato, have you not done what? Ask anything. Which means what you have been asking is chaff. Have you not asked 
nothing in my name. Ask, and you shall receive, that your joy may be full. Hear me? When money is in your pocket, you will laugh. Oh. Money gives laughter. Lack of money brings frowning. <laughs> Are you hearing what I'm saying now? When there is money in your hand, you laugh. In fact, you are excited. Your ginger will be high. Today, God is changing somebody's laughter. He tattoo, have you not asked anything? He said, ask. You shall receive. I want to let you know, God is going to change somebody's bank account. If you are saying amen, say it better, Amen. So after Kenneth Hagin did it, did it again, did it again, did it again, did it again, he was now feeling bad at all this why ignorance kept him. Hear me? Ignorance can keep you in lack. Do you know why? You have been tithing. You have been giving sacrificial offering. You have been sowing seed. But you have not gotten good returns. But from today, it will be harvest. Yeah. I say it will be harvest of returns. Yeah. I say it will be harvest of returns. Yeah. So shall my word be. Now, see my philosophy and belief. What they call philosophy, don't misinterpret me. It's your understanding and what you believe in your heart. Reverend Simon Avelobi said, if I pray, God heals. He takes the glory. If I pray, you are not healed. The shame can't come to me. Because I'm not the doer, neither am I the assistant doer. Are you hear what I'm saying now? Now, I don't doubt whether the word will work because it has been working before now. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Now, my stake on this is this. So shall my word be. So if in healing it worked, the one in London it worked, the one in America it worked, the one in Spain it worked. So wherever my money is north, south, east and west, if I call it, the person must come home. Are you what I'm saying now? So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. Do you have a mouth? Yes. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish and prosper in the thing wheresoever I send it. Jesus sent his disciple, go. You will meet a cold tight. Tell them the master needs it. And as he got there, as they got there, they untied it. They said, what are you looking for? Why are you losing it? They say, the master needs it. Do you need the money? As we begin to send the word, whoever is holding your money, I make a boat to say on this altar, their loins will be loose for your favor. Even what they think they will not give you, God will overturn their heart to surrender. Go. Tell them the master needs it. Now hear me. Do you know why God will bless me? Because I'm meeting people that need the blessing. So he will keep blessing me. Basically, let me tell you one truth. The reason why some people are not blessed, God knows that they are very stingy. A kaboxer. A radite. So he makes sure that the money does not enter your hand. How many people have been blessed through you? He said, we bless you and thou shall become a blessing. Your willingness to be a blessing is what makes these principles of scripture to work. It's not a right. If you are not willing to do what you want, you can't channel it through you. Blessings has channels. 
not roadblock. God won't send the money to where it will have roadblock. He will send it to where the person will be a channel. A channel. Are you willing to be a channel? Are you willing to be a channel? Because that's one of the primary conditions. If God... Now, write it down. This question is for somebody. If God make you a billionaire, will you still be faithful? It's not to answer me, yes, sir. Go back. The Holy Ghost go ask you plenty questions. Yes. You just came down and I should ask somebody. If he makes you a billionaire, will you still be faithful? Will, he, will you still come to church? Will you still come to church? Oh, you are very busy. My schedule is very tight now. God will lose the schedule. <laughs> so that you can come back. These are some of the... Hear me? We grow in the blessing. God will test you with 10,000 to 100 to 500 to 1 million to 10 million. It will be moving you small, 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 small. But if you see that uh, you have gone for an angel, blow a breeze, made it in, come back. God has a way of collecting it back. You know, some people are in church for financial breakthrough. They'll be praying, Father Lord, Father Lord, change my story. The witch holding my money, I bind you. And I will say, no, I'm, don't bind. I mean, who you? <laughs> Are you hearing what I'm saying now? You just have to make up your mind that you will be a blessing. If you are not going to be a blessing, you will be making empty noise. Angels will not hack it on to you. They will check your record. Lord, this person you have been giving him, he has not, he has not helped anybody. In fact, he's tight. He stopped paying since last year. Are you know what I'm saying now? Sincerely, now many of you are paying tight. You want to call? I will open for you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing. He say, Lord, you need to talk through. That's why you are not paying tight because you don't believe it. But if truly you are a tighter you have a foundational base to call it and it must answer. You have a founda foundation. Hear me? He said again, before you call, I will do what? While you are here speaking, I will do what? In fact, <laughs> there is a realm you, you reach. Mere thinking of the money, somebody is on the way to deliver it. You have not opened your mouth. Now to him that is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we ask or think. So God will give you the two. As you are thinking it, is doing it. Oh, you are not saying amen now. Maybe because I mentioned tight. <laughs> Because I mentioned tight, you have locked up. He's able to do exceeding abundantly above all. Do you have Byron with you? Do you have Byron with you? Write down what you want God to give you between now and Sunday. Let him prove to you and by Sunday, you will share a testimony. Yes, I said you will share a testimony. Yes. Before 9 p.m., somebody will get his own alert. Yes. Between now... This is 6.30. Between now and 6.30 tomorrow, there will be commotion of financial favor. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Have you written it? 
Don't be afraid. Just write. We must hear testimonies of what happened. Just write. Have you written? Rise up to your feet. Coven powers that have been fighting your money, the assignment will fail. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Witchcraft manipulators that are fighting your money, the assignment will fail concerning you. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Now hear me, angels, they respond to commands. You don't pray to angels. You command them. You do what? Now, God just told me, somebody here, the money you are looking for, God is going to send someone to meet you. The opportunity the person will place in your hand will be more than the money you are looking for. Another person, they've been sitting on your money, but let us by Thursday, let us by Thursday, there will be divine urgency on them to release that money. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Wherever you have been forgotten, I'm not saying in one hour. I'm saying in 30 minutes, their hearts will be burning with fire to surrender the money. Divine urgency will be upon that person to favor you. If you are saying amen, say better amen. You are going to pray, studio put the prayer. As this oil come upon you, you are carrying a new smell, a smell of financial favor, a smell of financial favor, a smell of financial open door. Whatever locks the door against you, by the oil coming upon you, favor will locate you speedily. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, and by the blood of the Lamb, I destroy every obstacle and hindrance to my supply. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, and by the blood of the Lamb, I destroy every obstacle, every hindrance to my supply. Every hindrance to my supply. Be destroyed by the blood of Jesus. Be destroyed by the fire of God. Be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Every hindrance and obstacle to my supply. I command your destruction. In the name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. Laborus kizus hitaha. Entata reshapa. Bresu tekleria, bekato zikalata, empeduna ekradelata, leko zuta menga nabata, pelededu sagalarosha, resese kleke brekete. Father, in the name of Jesus, and by the blood of the Lamb, I destroy every obstacle and hindrance to my supply. Pray from the depth of your heart. Pray from the depth of your heart. Pray from the depth of your heart. Nahado sute preberiaba. Wherever my finances are delayed. Wherever my finances are tied up. Wherever my finances are withheld. I command a forceful release now. I command a forceful release now. In the name of Jesus. Every obstacle physically, every obstacle spiritually, every obstacle physically, by the blood of Jesus, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, I destroy every delay 
wherever my finances are delayed wherever my finances are tied up wherever my finances are with her, i command a forceful release i will say to the north give up and to the south hold no back lekato brain the gito zeso nagada reta besotakaka in kakarekoto jesus keep recruiting and proporica to jesus is here reku kapraka teko zikaba magalaga dagaraga dagadagada rezozana breke teko ziza rezozana breke teko ziza le kupra nariata jesus iso le kukapraka ta empabare de 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 empabare de 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 rozonogo breke teke teke de La ga 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 Jesus, go forth and bring immediately every of my financial blessing and reward and taste of my supply. In the name of Jesus, go forth, go forth and bring immediately every of my financial blessing and reward. La conto pebere rosa e zilata. Pay the suit a letter. Make a kuku break it. Zekara etobradi. En raga ga 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 ga. Angels of my supply. Go forth in the name of Jesus. And bring forth immediately. Every of my financial blessings and rewards. Lagero Shata Any power Say no to my financial breakthrough And favor I silence you by the blood I silence you by the blood I silence you by the blood Any power Say no to my financial breakthrough And favor I silence you by the blood of Jesus I destroy every satanic network and roadblock by the fire of the Holy Ghost. La pere tu sabayaba. Angels of my supply, I command you to go forth and bring immediately every of my financial blessing and reward. Angels, this desire must not fail. In the name of Jesus, go forth and deliver. Go forth and deliver. Go forth and deliver. Break every barrier. Crush every opposition. Break every barrier. Crush every opposition. This money must be delivered. And the set time and the set date. In the name of Jesus. Lekute Predia. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Leave that desire up right now. You know what you wrote today, Abby? Are you sure? Are you convinced? You are going to shout with me. You know I can shout. Money, I call 
Are you fat now? Jesus' name we pray. Come and see. As you partake of this communion, financial sorrow is buried permanently in your life. You will no longer be depressed because of money. No man will have an opportunity to pity you again. If you are saying amen, say better amen. So shall it be. Come on. Whatever force is diverting blessing away from your life, that spell is destroyed in the name of Jesus. As this blood of sprinkling comes upon you, your name will be changed to goodness. He says, surely goodness and mercy shall follow you. From today, you will be attracting goodness. From today, you will be attracting goodness. Every mark of financial misfortune upon anyone here, that spell is destroyed in the name of Jesus. Every spell of rejection, spell of diversion, the yoke is swallowed up in the name of Jesus. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Goodness and mercy will follow you 
Financial favor will answer for you. Help us will not rest until you are settled. Whoever is carrying the money you need, I decree let angels appear to them this night. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Your bank accounts will be hitting plenty a lot. Your bank accounts will be hitting plenty a lot. Your bank accounts will be hitting plenty a lot. People that have forgotten you, I will draw sleep from their eyes. They will not rest until you are favored. I command their loins loose for your favor. Any financial decision that was taken against you, I overturn it in the name of Jesus. 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 Even people that didn't like to see your face, this night, angels will appear to them and they will do you good. They will favor you like never before. In the name of Jesus Christ. God just told me now, I'm wiping away your tears. Somebody's financial tears is wiped away. You have been crying in the house and smiling in church. But God is telling me, I will surprise you this week. So expect the surprise that is from the God of Oyedeko. I will surprise you this week. God is saying it again. I will surprise you this week. They have made a mockery of you because of money. Hear me? That mockery is turning into laughter. I said that mockery is turning into laughter. Sarah said, God has made me to laugh. I make both to say on this altar, God is giving someone financial laughter. Your case is settled. You've been wondering, where will the money come? Wait, just wait. We go hear the testimony before Sunday. Just cool down. Just cool down. You will see. You will know whether prophetic they walk. But God will prove it in somebody's life. In Jesus' name we pray. As you sprinkle this blood over your home, no evil manifestation. Any force on assignment against you, let the blood pursue them. Let the blood pursue them. Let the blood of Jesus scatter their plan. In Jesus' name we pray. The plan they have made for you, let them be victims of the plan. In Jesus' name we pray. You will sleep well. I said you will sleep well. Watch out. Watch out. Good is coming to you. Let's share the goodness together. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Let the redeem of the Lord say so. My peace.